Hello everybody, welcome to the one CNC tutorial on plunge roughing. As you can see on the screen I've got myself a model laid in position and what I'm going to do is uh, open the NC manager. Um, I know it's open there but I'll just open it again, lock it in position. And what I'm going to do is create model tool paths like plenty and Z level. And the option I'm going to select is plunge roughing. And what this is going to do is it's going to rough it out but like in a drilling operation so you could have a slot drill in there or a, or a, a drill whichever you wanted and, and all it's going to do is just go down plunge step over step over distance and plunge down again step over plunge down again step over and so on all the way around the 3d form so we'll select plunge roughing select ok uh, what I'll do is pick myself a, a tool so I'm going to pick myself a um, a 12 milli uh, M mil 12 milli let's go down accept tool number one uh, spindle speed 2000 plunging 200 select next um, and the first thing it's going to ask me for is my rapid plane and my initial plane and the retract plane um, so I'm going to be, I'll put me rapid plane at, at 10, initial plane, I'll just put that at um, 2 and I'll put the retract plane to where I want it to come back to, 1. Select next, uh, I'm just going to do a standard, you can pack it, you can depole it if you want, but we'll keep it, I'll just put it as a standard, select next and this is where we're doing the plunge method um, whether we're doing manual or conventional we're doing manual at the moment and the step over while well, I'm using a, a 12 mm cutter so I'll step over half of it and step over half again so that's my X step over and my Y step over uh, decide what I'm leaving on for finishing I could be leaving um, a milli on there and I'll bring the tolerance back because we're only roughing out at the moment select next extends box normal next click on there show preview um, what I'll do is I'll put that at zero top of the job one and select finish and you can see it's created that toolpath on there So right click simulate I'm going to pick a boundary minus 48 select OK this is the boundary right click and as you can see it's starting to plunge straight in over and then plunge again using 50% of the tool can you see it let's just speed it up a little bit and then stepping back the other way we'll speed it up to default speed and you can see where it's picking up the form step over again and stepping over again and you can see it's roughing out around the detail so we'll let it finish it Okay, you can see it's plunge roughed out that. So if I go into there and just edit the operation, select next, 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 and I could put um, three there by three. Select next, next, finished. Right click, simulate, select OK, left click, right click. And you can see you've got a finer step over as you're going around your form.
you can still section through it and everything you wanted to do. Just turn that section off and you can see we've um, plunge roughed that out now. So if you want to do plunge roughing in one CNC, that's how we do it. Hopefully that'll help you get started and thank you for watching.